floating and sinking of an object depends upon the densities of the object and the liquid in which it floats. 1. When the density of an object is less than the density of a liquid, it will float on the liquid. Example, cork has less density than water, that is why it flows on it. 2. When the density of an object is more than the density of liquid, it will sink in it. Example, iron has density 7.8 gram per centimeter cube and water has density 1 gram per centimeter cube. Iron is heavier than water, hence it will sink in it. But the density of mercury is 13.6 gram per centimeter cube. If iron is put in mercury, it will float on mercury because iron is lighter than mercury. Also, we can say that 1. If relative density of a body is greater than 1, it will sink in water. 2. If relative density of a body is less than 1, it will float on water. Applications 1. To measure the density of a liquid directly, a hydrometer is used. A hydrometer is usually made of glass and consists of a cylindrical stem with graduation and a bulb weighted with mercury or lead to make it float upright. The liquid to be tested is poured into a tall jar and the hydrometer is gently lowered into the liquid until it floats freely. The point at which the surface of the liquid touches the stem of the hydrometer is noted. This reading gives the relative density of the given liquid. Hydrometer is also used in testing the purity of the milk and to check if lead acid batteries are fully charged or not. 2. An iron nail sinks in water but an iron ship floats in water. Why? It is because the bottom of an iron ship has a huge cavity filled with air which reduces the ship's average density. As the average density of the ship becomes less than water, it floats. 3. Flotation of submarines A submarine is provided with a ballast tank. When its ballast tank is filled with water, its average density becomes more than sea water. So, it dives into the water. When the water is forced out from its ballast tank, its average density becomes less than that of water. So, the submarine rises to the surface of water. Comparison of densities in three states of matter Matter exists in three states that is, solids, liquids and gases. Each state has its own special characteristics. 1. Solid state, characterized by definite shape and definite volume, thus having higher density than liquids. 2. Liquid state, characterized by lack of definite shape but definite volume, thus having high density than gases but lower than solids. 3. Gaseous state characterized by lack of definite shape and volume, thus having low density than solids and liquids.